The events up to this point have taken their toll on Forrest Harmon. With a series of raids producing lacklustre loot, we're barely able to defend ourselves against the large numbers of the undead outside our walls. We don't know it yet, but desperation will soon lead us to make some questionable decisions. What lies ahead for Forrest Harmon? We'll soon find out. Dentistry, hairdressers, a diner, Hugo plush, legal, books. Hello, sir. After scouting locations for some much needed guns and ammunition, we stumble across a gun store that had been under our noses this whole time. Having better levels in our melee and firearm skill, we set off to clear the area, and with the help of our trusty boomstick, we blast away the undead guard in the gun store. Whoa, I thought you went down. Yes, that's really good. That's a good shotgun. We loot the electrical store next door, and we get our hands on a how to use generators manual. Yes. Well, we needed that. We then equip the sledgehammer we acquired back in episode one, and we get to work breaking down the metal shutters at a garden in the storefront. Oh, so we got one box of shotty, one box of nine mil. Another box of shotty. Nine mil. Yeah, so two shotties and two nine mils. Okay, so it's not much. Some nine mil and some shotgun ammo, but we can surely put these to good use. There's two survivor homes on the road that lead back into the city. It's a big gamble, but we could essentially use that ammunition and double our stack. But there's a large amount of zombies surrounding the survivor homes. We'd have to take care of those before cracking the houses open. Damn, we don't have any 9mm guns. Plenty of 9mm, just no 9mm weapons. We need these uh, survivor homes to have ammo. We really do. Got a good chunk. Nice. Take out this lucky, lucky individual. We got what seems to be a storm coming in. Actually tragic. Fire axe. hoping for some ammo. This game hates me. Again, we find nothing but scraps. Our gamble, it just simply didn't pay off. We rolled the dice and we came up with nothing. 
we think back to the prison, back to the military base, the gun store, it's all led us to a dead end. But there is a police station closer to home. It's our last hope, and with so many of the undead now walking the streets, progression seems to be almost impossible. We need that ammunition, if we ever want to move forward, if we ever want to leave this place. So not thinking clearly, we hotwire the truck parked outside and we barrel our way towards a police station in a desperate attempt to salvage loot. Our judgment severely clouded. We honk our horn to lure out any undead within the station walls. Oh no. <laughs> scraping through narrow streets and crashed cars until the inevitable happens. The car engine, it dies. Damn. Oh boy. We managed to get it started again, but in a panic, we flee the truck. By now the undead are right on top of us, snarling at every turn. Our pace slows and we've just become tired. Holding my breath. <laughs> so bad right now. They pour out from the police station, the neighboring buildings, lunging at us as we navigate the abandoned cars littering the streets. We have got a pick. Our steps very wisely. Okay. Until finally, that was squeaky bum time. We're clear. Not a good time to be tired. I think it leaves us one option. Silly, yes. But there may be some positives to draw from this moment of madness. We might not have gotten in the police station, but we certainly got a lot of the dead out of it. And though we blew a majority of the ammunition on the undead at the survivor homes, recent history has shown us another way of how we can handle these hordes. So the next day we drop off any unnecessary gear, as we want to prevent ourselves from being weighed down and exhausted. We begin our descent into the heart of the horde. We pass a handful at first, and then a dozen. This isn't even the worst of it yet. Oh, I'm super, super, super nervous about this. Right, we've got to stay switched on here. We call out to keep their attention until we're finally in the thick of it. Go on, land. Come on. Okay. Good. So the plan is simple. We walk right into the heart of the hall and we rally as many of them as possible. Smash them in their stupid faces with a Molotov, burn them and lead them out of the city, hopefully leaving the armory of the police station intact. We cannot afford for the fire to spread to the station. This would burn up any potential loot, rendering this run useless. We plan to loop them around the block one or two times, luring out as many as we can from the station before heading back to which we came. We jump in abandoned cars and use their horns to draw out even more and carefully zigzag our way out of danger. Oh wow, they're all in there. <laughs> the shopping complex ablaze, we can only hope the police station hasn't met the same fate. Oh, we're kind of doing okay. Hours pass. Days turn to night and night turn to morning. With the last of the undead burning up, we make our way to safety nice. and hope that we've done enough to reach the police station armory. Oh dear. And I think we celebrate with a beer. You have earned it. Forrest Harmon. <laughs> you have certainly earned that, my friend. Drink it in. 
The next morning, we arm ourselves with a shotgun and the last of our shells, and we head back. The shopping complex still burns and it makes me wonder the fate of the police station. Oh dear. Still got a few zombies in there. Couldn't to bother too much with them right now. Now with the police station in sight, we let out a sigh of relief, seeing no signs of smoke or burning. But we can still hear the distant cries of the undead within these walls. Whoa. Whoops. These corridors are thin and we can't afford to get overwhelmed here, so we take our time to draw them out, retreating outside when necessary. <laughs> I don't want to be in there. Let's lead them away. Oh yes please. I got a shotgun and a gun that shoots nine mils. Oh, that's so good. Let's see if that draws anyone. Slowly working our way deeper in the heart of the station. Until finally. Ah, oh, finally. What do we have? Oh no, don't tell me this. Okay. Everything we have fought for, it's led up to this moment. Okay. A box of nine. And a box of twelve. We are rewarded with scraps.